regarding submit one or two sentences for performance piece of dick simplex, not spam. Hi, as, as far as I know, I'm not involved. J just letting you know. I'm asking only for one or two sent sentences, random, and, and that's all. Are those your sentences? No, no, I mean, I'm not involved with this production or whatever, just letting you know. Since I, I think the email was misdirected. No, I, I know you're not involved. I'm not asking for time or involvement. Just anonymous quotes about anything at all, one or two sentences. Th that's it. Thanks. Ah, okay, sorry, I was obviously confused. I'll try to come up with something. Please confirm that you have removed me from your mailing list and that I will not receive any further unsolicited email from you in the future. Regards. I'm sorry, I'm not sure how I know you. Oh, no problem. Probably work or friend of a friend, uh, but if you so desire, please do submit some sentences. Ah, I see you don't know me either. Please take me off the list then. Thanks. I can't believe that you only send me these bulk emails all the time, but never a personal email, nor ever respond to my personal emails. What is going on? These are my 1.5 sentences for the hot, buddy. Do they, uh, do they work? I'm out of the office until Monday, the 19th. If it's urgent, call my office line and follow voice prompts. It will automatically, call, automatically find me. Adrian and I are out of town until Saturday, the 17th. As you know, I am leaving my position, effective June 23rd. My replacement is now on board and can answer pertinent questions. All related emails should now be directed towards him. Any personal emails may be directed to me at... This was from the gay stage manager for Mowali. Any thoughts? Oh, sorry, Philip. I was sending this to my wife for input, but he replied and said, Sounds like fun, though. Look for our replies. Sounds to me like you're running low on creativity. That's my half. You answered the question I was going to ask. Please, take it apart and put it all back together again. Hi, are you for real? Not sure. When I pinch myself, I feel pain, but uh, maybe not. Are you? I uh, try to keep it real, but end up delusional. Sometimes the only thing that ever gets me through is knowing how much it would hurt my mom if I ever gave up. Hello, son. Isn't he swell? One who looks outside dreams. One who looks inside awakens. Carl Jung. Peace comes within the souls of men when they realize their oneness with with the universe, black hell. Today, I am completely and utterly ready for the tides of unearthly passion, hard and driving lust to fill my pores and gush from my most innermost being, spreading to the world a certain type of creative thrust to keep all squealing with the force of pleasure only the gods have known. My mind had tasted of much water, already run off from the the roof gutters, with the good and pious St. Petersburgers sleeping beneath, water from the catch basins which had washed away the sins of the city, water the baker's boy used to wash his feet. To the scores of silent alchemists who wreak their joy in darkness and in light, bringing magic to life, we bow most of the butterfly wing caught fire, pixelated images rolled off my eye. The air had a certain flux, jewels grinded into dust. It's not what they think about you, it's what you think about them. My jaw dropped when my best friend said to me, You can trust me. You can trust me. I swear on my dick, I will never ever again. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god, is it, is it, is it really, can it be? No. Imagine my surprise when he said, Ma, I don't know how to tell you this, but... Though they looked and looked all over the town, they could never find... Yeah, right, I know. You, you, you think I'm just... Despite what logic tells us about such things, I know because I saw it with, with my own eyes. No, no, a thousand times no. Neither love nor money will ever convince me to. So, Dick Cheney walks into a bar and asks for a screaming orgasm. 
well, bartender. Sometimes the prime time network dramedies hit it dead on. Especially when one housewife says to another, Girl, one day you're gonna wake up next to someone you don't even know. Could happen to you. It just happened to me. I keep riding the subway until the paparazzi chases me like Brittany. Woe is she that is fat foot. Lost my job, asked to leave my apartment, ended up in detox and in a psych ward, but there is hope. Like a phoenix, I am rising out of the ashes. Lots of interviews and AANA meetings. I really crashed and burned on booze and coke. All the suffering, all the pain, all the loss, all the treachery by parents and friends, all the re unrequited loves, all the heartache, real or imagined, you ever felt comes crashing down with one final blow. I am a ghost now, surviving only because of medicine's technological advancements. I've outlived my natural life, and now everything else is extra. I started giving my, my meds to this, this old dog that I have, and now she's acting like a little puppy again, even losing some weight. It's, it's not if, but when I mean. The way I look at it, I'm, I'm 40 now. I can have a healthy life for the next 10, 15, 20 years besides, and by the time I'm 60, everything will be so fucking expensive, I'll, I'll hardly be able to live. I mean, nobody can afford to retire anymore, it's just cheaper to die. <laughs> and everybody loves a cane. I'm become, I'm become death, destroyer of worlds. Pick a card, any card. The devil will tell you lies, but love is the answer. And I still believe in love, no matter what you may say. With the patience of the truly possessed, I took hours to explore mere inches. But by the dawn, I knew the map of your body just as surely as if I knew the map of your soul. And I watched you swimming in the ocean as the sun descended and darkness fell and felt as if I'd never really seen you before. There's a boy across the river with an ass like a peach. And I just made love by a waterfall. Light of my life, fire of my loins, my sin. My soul. Some days I can't stop thinking about sex, and then other days it seems like a totally unproductive way to spend my time. But the weather is great, and it, it's hot outside, which people wear less clothing. So, party naked. To the end of all things, the onset of loneliness. I give arsenic to your thirst. You can thank me later. He was miserable, and we wrote a letter together to our parents about how much we really wanted to be able to come home. We thought we should be able to come home to make the memories with our family while we still could. Any more broken beds? Forcefully ejected from Eden by power-hungry angels and lusty, thirsty demons. Eat the worm and throw the fucking apple away. I mean, this ain't a cheap, of shot, a cheap shot of tequila. It's, it's fucking paradise lost, people. And the enormity of that first sound, the actual sound of God and the universe, rendered him senseless to all the rest. The zealots reveal the hate and ignorance that fuel their perpetual attacks on all those who dare to embrace the totality of existence with subservience to archaic dogma. What darkness can possibly be more complete than this intellect-numbing blind faith that they would apply to all our lives? like a straitjacket of the mind. How utterly boring and utterly lacking of imagination. I mean, when, when will the liberals learn how to assassinate a fucking president? We are living in a fascist country, and people will not recognize